Hi everyone. This lesson covers chapter 14, Interviewing. Let's review. The purpose of the cover letter is to persuade the audience to read your resume. The purpose of the resume is to persuade the audience to offer you an interview. Therefore, the purpose of the interview is to persuade the audience to hire you. Before you start going to interviews, get prepared. Make sure your cover letters and resumes and list of references, which is a separate document, not part of the resume, are current and correct. Make a list of all the places to which you sent your cover letter and resume package. You do not want to be caught off guard when someone calls about an interview and you cannot remember sending them your packet. Have a notepad and pen handy near the phone so you're ready to take notes. Have a calendar ready. You do not want to double book yourself or not give yourself enough time to get from one interview to the next. Make sure your outgoing message is appropriate and professional for those jobs that call and leave you a message. Refer to chapter 11. Do your research. Practice. Rehearse. Now, let's discuss interviews. Two categories of interviews are screening and hiring placement. The screening interview typically is done over the phone and it is brief, about 15 minutes. The caller has two purposes. One, to determine if you are still interested in the position and two, to ensure that you are indeed qualified. They will ask specific questions and you will answer them clearly and concisely. If all goes well, you will be invited in for a hiring interview. If you are offered a hiring interview, make sure you are clear on where and when if you're not sure about the appropriate attire, it is okay to ask. By the time you arrive at the hiring interview, the hiring professional knows you're qualified. So, why are you there? The main purpose, from their perspective, is to determine if you are a good fit for the company. As such, interviews can take many forms or a combination of forms. Your goal is to determine if the company is a good fit for you make sure you are prepared follow these 10 best interview tips to live by you can find these links in blackboard learning module 5 week 9 Check out this page also. Never, ever go to a job interview without these 10 things.
Now for the types of hiring interviews. One on one. This is self-explanatory. You are face to face with the person who will hire you, typically your prospective boss. This person will ask you a variety of questions, already knowing you are qualified for the job. Take a look here. Again, available in uh, the chapter 13 and 14, week nine folder. And here, the most common interview questions. And you can use Google to find more questions you will be asked and questions you should ask the interviewer. You will be asked about your jobs. You will be asked challenging questions about your goals, your strengths and weaknesses. You will be asked odd questions. Why are manhole covers round? You will be asked illegal questions. How old are you? Are you married? And more. And the interviewer knows they are illegal against federal laws. The interviewer is seeking to discover how well you respond, how you think and reason critically, even if there is not a right answer. You will be asked if you have any questions, and you better. Good questions, not about the position, but about the company, management, and so on. Panel interviews. This is the same as the one-on-one, -on -one, only you are sitting in front of a panel, maybe five, six, or seven people asking you questions. Group interviews. Here, you are among many people being interviewed at one time. The interviewer or interviewers want to see how well you interact with team members. Are you a question hog, a wallflower, or somewhere in the middle? Where do you think you should be? Sequential interviews. Here, you typically start in the HR office with basic information. You then might speak with the manager one-on-one. -on -one. Then you might sit in front of a panel. Stress interviews. Okay, all interviews create stress. But this one places you in a situation designed to see how you will handle various things, such as coworkers uh, stealing supplies. What do you do? For me, interviewing for teaching positions, I always had to do a teaching demonstration, 10 to 15 minutes. We still do this with our candidates uh, who uh, we interview for jobs today.
in all, the initial 60 seconds of the interview are critical. Your appearance, your greeting, even your handshake. Interviewers make up 50% of their mind about you within that first 60 seconds. Dress appropriately. Make sure you know what that means. It depends on the job and the company culture. You might not need to wear a suit and tie or dress suit, but you do not want to wear torn jeans or t-shirts or a mini skirt and stilettos and so on. Make sure your clothes are clean and ironed. Make sure your hair is neat. No hats, unless for religious reasons, but be prepared to explain and do not be offended by any questions. Shower with soap. Wear unscented deodorant. No perfume or cologne. No dangling, clangy jewelry. Do you have tattoos? Cover them up for the interview. If you find the culture accepts tattoos after a while, you can feel freer to display them, as long as they are in good taste. Make sure you also know what not to say. Check out this page for the 30 things you should never say in a job interview. Remember the tips. Bring copies of your resume and your lists, list of references. Bring a notepad and a pen to jot down notes after the interview. Get people's names so you can send a follow-up thank you message by letter or email especially if you really want the job. Minimize accessories. Ladies, do not bring a purse and a briefcase. Use just one. Sit up straight. Don't lean back like you're relaxing. You'll look uninterested. Don't lean aggressively forward, staring into their eyes. Smile. Make eye contact. Answer questions honestly. Ask relevant, deep questions. And breathe. And then you will have had a successful interview. Questions? Send me an email.